Hello, this is Dustin with ProAVSchool.com. Today I'm going to show you how you use OpenOffice Draw to create signal flow drawings. Now one of the reasons you'd want to use OpenOffice Draw instead of a tool like Visio or AutoCAD would be if you're just learning, just getting started, if you don't have the money to purchase AutoCAD or Visio. If you're going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, you should look at the licensing requirements because it might not be free for your usage. So there's a number of ways you can format the page. I'm going to set it up in landscape. So you open it up, go new drawing, open office draw, go format, page. And here I'm going to choose A4 as the page size. I'm going to put it in landscape, go OK. Now I'm going to make a basic header block. Everything you draw, it tries to, uh, to fill it in. I'm just going to put it to invisible. Give it a little bit more thickness and could go ahead and put a couple lines in here just for just for ease of use. So I'm going to type client. I'm going to copy and paste this, drag it over, double click. Obviously, once you get going, you can figure out how to change and modify this stuff. So I'm also going to give myself a nice outline for my drawing. Okay, so now that you've got this, you want to start with your blocks. So let's say we have a matrix switcher. Go invisible. Usually what I like to do is do small text block, say 4x4 four four matrix. I'm actually going to select all and change the font size to 8 just because I want to be able to get more stuff on the page. Now for your inputs and outputs, what works the best is if you have a different line item for each type of input because you'll have um, the ability to snap objects to it in the future. So I'm going to try input 1 female. Now one of the disadvantages about doing it with open office draw is you've got to kind of create everything from scratch. But once you get things uh, things going for a while you can copy and paste blocks from other drawings. So like I said it's kind of an introductory method but you can use some of these methods in a program such as Visio as well. Okay, so you can see I've created a couple other objects, a projector, a computer, a laptop, and I've also added these inputs. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is show you how to connect the objects together. Obviously, you can move things around by just selecting over top of them and move them together. If you just select one part of it and move it, obviously you'll see some problems with how it moves along. Instead of the line tool, I'm going to use something called a connector. What a connector does is it'll follow from point to point while you move stuff around. I find this useful if you're kind of brainstorming how you're going to hook everything up and you want to try different combinations. So all of these different types are just visual styles. I usually just use the connector. And as you get close to an object, you'll see that it gives you snap handles. So this is why I created these text blocks in different blocks so that you could connect a line right to it. So I'm going to go from output one you actually have to drag. I just made a mistake there. You have to click and drag to where you want it to go. And you can see how kind of how it behaves. So I'm going to go to this side of it. With this laptop, I'm going to go to this side of it. Now you'll see that it kind of arbitrarily figures out how it wants to line up the lines. If you want to get something more visually appealing, you can click on it and you can move it a little bit or what have you to make it look a little bit nicer. Now I'm going to show you the power of this connector tool. So if I select those, I can move them all, but they still keep their connection. And that's very powerful if you're trying different combinations, like I said before. So I'm just going to finish this off here. So now you've got your drawing. I'm just going to select everything, kind of center it on the page. And there you go. You can go in and put your project name and your client. You can go file and... Uh, preview in web browser. One of the nice things is you can export as a PDF directly and just give the PDF to your customer. If you want to label the wires, what I do is just do a text block and give it a small font size. Now 
Now this feature is not altogether too powerful, but it does make a handy drawing and for the price, it's very good just to get you started. So once again, OpenOffice Draw, you can find it just by going to openoffice.org. Be sure to check out proavschool.com for tips, tricks, and techniques of the pro AV industry. And sign up for our newsletter, which gives you exclusive access to content that's not found on the site.